Hey, it's the Insane Gamers, back again for another PBR battle. We're cutting right to the fight because this is a long one, and the beloved 10 minute time limit that we all, you know, we all adore. Well, it's very annoying. I was 45 seconds over the 11, 11 minute mark. Anyway, I'm using my Rain Dance team, which you remember, and my opponent's using a Trick Storm team. You probably can't tell now, but trust me, it is. It has a Tyranitar and some. Other stuff, uh, Rhyperior, what else did it have? You know, that kind of stuff. Anyway, I've taken away Ludicolo and Absol and replaced them with two new team members who you you will be meeting both of them in this battle. So anyway, I fake out the Cresselia, but unfortunately the Togekiss uses follow me, so that's kind of stupid. Uh, so I'm not going to get to fake out that Cresselia. I was kind of hoping that I could get my rain up, and after the fake out, I could just gang up on it or whatever, stop the rain. Or stop the trick room from coming up. Definitely would have made this battle go a lot quicker. Anyway, so I get my rain dance up, and I know that's not good because a swift swim. So now I'm going to be going last in the trick room. Even though I probably, probably would have been going last anyway because even my new team member got outsped or outslowed. Anyway, you're about to meet them. Bam! There they are Metagross and Frostlass. Metagross, I thought would be awesome in here because. He's weak to fire, and, well, Rain Dance Team. Hello, awesome. He's also weak to ground, and Rain Dance Team. Awesome. <laughs> Same with Frostlass. Weak to fire, Rain Dance covers it all, so I thought that would be pretty good. Now, this Metagross isn't anything special. It's your typical one, just because I need a little bit of muscle on this team. It, it does, although I do have my Pokemon, it, it, they work well. I still need a little bit of muscle, you know, if I can't get my Rain Dance out then I need to uh, be able to at least kill stuff. Anyway, so I go for a Protect and switch out Metagross, because I know that Togekiss isn't going to be doing anything to Metagross. And it uses uh, Grass Knot, <coughs> which is pretty cool. So, I know that's going to kill Relicanth in one hit, no doubt about it, because that's just it's a quite effective attack, and Relicanth's special defense is a little bit crap. His physical defense, though, is very good. Anyway, so I go for an Iron Head on Togekiss. I don't have Meteor Mash, because I'm so paranoid that it's going to miss all the time. So, I gave it Iron Head instead, because... Oh, well, I, I would love Meteor Mash, but it's just too unreliable for me. Anyway, I switch out to Frostlass now. Because I know that Frostlass can take that Grass Knot, because it has a Focus Sash, even if it does bring it down to its Focus Sash. Anyway, so he does the exact same thing again. At this point, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to swap out and stall out this annoying trick room. Because with, it, with this trick room up, I can't really do a whole lot. So, uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Anyway, Grass Knot doesn't really do anything. And then Metagross goes for Iron Head. And Metagross, you are slacking off. That was <laughs> See, if it was Meteor Mash, it would have KO'd it. But it would might have missed. Anyway, so Iron Head doesn't kill it, surprisingly. So that thing must be pretty defensive. I'm guessing it's got all its EVs and defenses and special defenses and all that because its special attacks aren't doing anything. So yeah, now I'm just going to go for generic attacks because I can. And here's my Frostlass, Shadow Ball, Destiny Bond, Ice Beam, Weather Ball. Weather Ball is a really cool move. I love that move because in the Rain Dance, it doubles its power to 100 and it turns into a water type. And if there's a sunny day up, it'll double power to 100 and... Uh, turn into a fire type, sandstorm, same, hail, same. So it's pretty cool. It's an awesome move. And I thought it would be pretty cool on the frost last. Um, anyway, heat wave doesn't kill either of my guys. It doesn't do anything really because of the rain, which is kind of nice. So in the in the long run, I guess it's good I did have that rain up because now I'm able to kill this Togekiss because it was being quite annoying. Uh, Togekisses are pretty cool. They're cute. I I'll say that they're annoying, but they're cute. So Togekiss goes down, and Shadow Ball doesn't really do a whole lot, because Frostlass isn't really the, you know, most powerful Pokemon. But it is still very cool, and that's why I like it. It looks like it's a, you know, you know those Japanese women, those, uh, what are they called? They're, they're like the robes they wear, that's what it reminds me of, because it's got like the bow in the back. Anyway, out next, we have an Aggron. And I was thinking, well, I can kill that thing with Earthquake, but unfortunately, it's going to kill my own Frostlass. So, yeah, um, I don't really have much choice in the matter here. I kind of just have to go for the attack. Sorry. <laughs> I just uh, threw a ball at my wall because 
I can. Um, anyway, I go for Weather Ball on Agron, and I go for an Earthquake, because I can. And, Grisella uses Helping Hand, which is kind of annoying, because now here comes the Earthquake. And, I was crossing my fingers that Metagross would live this. And, it does! So, yeah, thank God for Metagross being around. Because, even though he can't dish out the attacks, attacks as well as I would like him to, he can at least take them very well, so that's good. And he was really the key player of this fight, because he I think Metagross won it for me. Anyway, Earthquake doesn't take down the, the freaking Agron, what the heck? Really, how is it not dead? I really want to know how that thing survived. But, whatever. Finally, my wish comes true, and now the trick room's down, so I'm like, yes, perfect. So now I can start doing stuff. So I'm going to send out Ambipalm, because I'm going to fake out the Cresselia now, and stop it from TRing again. And I'm going to do another Earthquake, because I know Metagross isn't going to kill Ambipalm, because if it can't even kill an Agron in one hit, it's not going to kill my Ambipalm. My Metagross is a bit of a press. Between you and me, it is definitely a press. Anyway... We're going to go for Earthquake again, and Amber Palm here is going to go for a Fake Out, because that's basically what it does. It comes out, it slaps you, it goes back in its Pokeball, then it comes out and slaps you some more. Don't you just love Amber Palm? So yeah, uh, he switches out Cresselia, or she rather, switches out Cresselia, into a Fortress, which kind of sucked for me, because I'm not going to be able to do much to it. But then again, at least Earthquake hits it. So anyway, Agron protects, so that kind of sucks, but oh well. Anyway, Amber Palm fakes out and gets the second critical hit of the battle with Fake Out, so that's pretty cool. I guess Amber Palm loves critical hitting things. It's like my Amber Palm and Heart Gold that I'm using on my in-game team. That thing loves to crit hit with Fake Out as well, so Amber Palm is just an epic Pokemon. So as predicted, doesn't kill Amber Palm. It doesn't really kill anything. It doesn't really do much to anything at all. So yeah, just go ahead and spam Earthquake, I guess. I mean, I'm really at a loss of what to do here. At this point, I was just like, well, I can't do anything. All I can do is sit here and spam Earthquake until they go away. Which, unfortunately, doesn't work as well as I would have liked it to, because um, I don't have Protect on all my guys. All the guys who have Protect are dead, and, well, the one... I, I'm not willing to send it out, because it'll just get killed. So I go for an Aerial Ace on Fortress, because it's not super effective, but it'll sure do more than double hit. Anyway, he switches out Agron, seeing the Earthquake coming, and goes back to Cresselia, so I'm like, god dang it, stop that. So yeah, Amber Palm goes for an Aerial Ace, and brings down the Fortress quite a lot, actually. I'm surprised. That was a um, pretty good hit there on a Fortress. So yeah, brings down the Fortress enough for Earthquake to KO it, so... That's always nice. Unfortunately, I take down my own Amber Palm. That sucks. Amber Palm, I'm so sorry. You are gonna get, like, some pie after this fight. And you're gonna get some, um, Kool-Aid and all that kind of stuff, because I'm sorry that I had to kill you, but I really needed Relicanth out here to help me do stuff, because now the Trick Room is down, I can start killing stuff. Well, specifically that Agron. Because the Cresselia, I haven't seen any attacking moves from it yet, so I assume it can't do any attacking moves. So, yeah, out comes my last Pokemon, and out comes her last Pokemon. We all, we've seen hers, Agron, and to, actually we've seen mine too, so. Anyway, Relicanth comes back out. I'm kind of glad I saved Relicanth now, because it does play a large role in this fight, as well as Metagross. So here, I knew the Agron was going to protect again. I mean, it's kind of obvious. So, she was probably predicting a, uh, a Protect and an Earthquake, but the thing is, I know that Cresselia is going to Trick Room, and if that happens, then I'm dead, because that's not good. So, I'm just going to Protect and Explode, because even though the Aggron is going to Protect, it'll kill the Cresselia, and it'll kill the Trick Room starter, which is what I'm looking for here, because I don't want a Trick Room up. That would really, really screw me over. So, I Protect myself. He protects himself just as I thought he would, or she. I, I, or, you know what, just forget it. Anyway, explosion goes off, and we're all protecting, except for Cresselia. Bam, there we go. 
So, thank god that KO'd. Metagross, you can take hits, and you can kill stuff with, uh, with Explosion. That's about the extent of what you can do. You are not my favorite. Ambipalm will never be lower than... Okay, you know... I meant to say you will be never... Whatever! It doesn't matter! The point is, now I'm gonna waterfall him, and prove to him that Relicanth is so awesome. Because Relicanth is epic-like. Anyway, I finished this battle off with the third crit of the match. I don't know if I needed the crit. I probably did, based on how much that... Um, or how little that Earthquake did, but anyway. So that was an extremely close fight, and I will... I actually, I think I kind of lucked out there, but oh well. It's still a win nonetheless, and I will see all of you guys next time with another PBR battle. Hopefully I'll actually be able to use the Rain Dance team in the way it's supposed to be used. See you then.